It's Beer O'Clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we're going to beer from Stone Brewing Company and it's a bottle of Rick and Robbie's Sprocket Beer. It's a black rye Kolsch style beer coming in at 5.4% ABV. Rick Blankschmeyer and Robert Chandler. Now Rick is a home brewer, a very good home brewer as it says so on the back of this bottle. Um, Stone asked him to go in and brew a beer with him, so this is it, a Black Roy Kolsch. I'm, to be honest, I have no idea what this beer is going to taste like. There's the gold bottle cap from Stone. There's the Stone neck. But it mentions on the back of here that um, this beer is for beer geek, beer geeks and stone fans around the country. Well, not just around the country, but around the world. We're reviewing this in the UK. We managed to get this in Brewdog's Bar in Cardiff. Wow, look at that smoke on the opening. So not just a beer for America anymore, it's... Um, the beer market, the international beer market is massive now. There's, well, obvious, obviously people want to try beer from Stone all around the world, so they just get them in now, Brewdog. You get, you get importers bringing their beer in. They're even building a new brewery in Germany of all places. So in the next couple of years, I imagine we'll be able to get Stone beers much easier than we have done over the last five to 10 years. So, so brilliant. On, on that bit of news front. Um, it's jet black in the glass. There's no light bleeding through there whatsoever. It's a two finger tan colored head. It poured like a nice medium bodied porter or stout. Looks good. And what else would you expect from stone? Let's get the aroma then. Yes, it smells a little bit like a Kolsch, but with it being a black Kolsch, you also get that little bit of coffee chocolate caramel. It reminds me... Can you remember when black IPAs first came out and everybody loved them? And it was a great idea and people were mystified by the idea that they were drinking a black beer that, that tasted like a golden ale or an IPA. This is doing the same sort of thing for me. This is Kolsch, but it's got a, a kind of a stouty porter-like aroma to it. Let's dive in. Cheers. Wow. Oh yes, wow. Nice medium body. Creamy kind of consistency to the beer. Yes, it's a Kolsch. Most definitely is it a Kolsch. But at the same time, it's a porter or a stout. It's you decide. It's, it's, it's a beer that's stone of brewed. And it's another one of those kind of crossover beers. Kolsch, yes. Like dark lager, like... Wonderful German style tasting beer. But then on the back end... It's a stout, it's a porter. It's creamy, there's chocolate, there's coffee, there's caramel. There's berry. <laughs> I'm lost for words here. Um, and I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. When I seen this in Brewdog's Bar in Cardiff, and 
I seen the bottle, I seen the price I paid. I looked at it and I thought, black rye Kolsch style beer. I asked myself a question. Is it worth the money? Is, I think I paid something like 17 pounds for this beer. Is a Kolsch style beer worth 17 pounds? I thought about it a little bit more, over a half of Punk IPA. And then I looked at the bottle again, and Stone is this Spotlight series, it's Stone Brewing Company. Have I ever had a bad beer from Stone? No, I haven't. So I ummed and ahed a little bit more, and I liked the idea of it. I went for it, I took a stab because of the quality of this brewery. And they've come through, they've come through again. It's a lovely beer, it's a really nice beer. Black Rye Kolsch style, they've invented another style of beer. The rye, let's try and pick up some of that spicy rye then. Yes, totally, absolutely, totally. Spicy rye. A little bit of, it, there's a berry mixed in with it. There's, there's more of a, like a dark fruit in there. And then that spicy rye comes through. But there's so much going on. You've got Kolsch. You've got your chocolate coffee caramel from, your, from the dark moths that they've used. You've got that rye, that spicy rye. You've got berry tastes coming through. I know I'm sounding a little bit vague here in this review. Uh, it's just a really good beer. It's just a, a beer that, again, it's a new style of beer for me to try after nearly 1900 or over 1900 beers where we're trying something new. And it's from Stone Brewing Company. Who else? If you rock the beer back and forth in the glass, you've got the lovely medium body consistency for the beer. You can see that because the carbonation is lagging behind the head when you rock it back and forth. The carbonation is fighting its way through that medium creamy mouthfeel. And at 5.4%, this is a beer that... And I do love their other big pint bottles of beer, but, you know, at 9% or 8% ABV, you're looking to share a beer like that with a wife, with a friend, with a family member, whatever. You're going to share a big 9% IPA. Or if you're greedy, just drink it yourself. This, on the other hand, at 5.4%, you could enjoy two or three glasses of it. And, and you won't be kind of rocking all over the place when you're done. So, just to wrap up this review, all in all, well done to Rick Blankmeyer and Robert Chandler. They've done a great job with this beer. Well done to Stone Brewing Company. It's the first beer from the Spotlight series. Let's give it a rating. So, a quick recap. Medium mouthfeel, it's nice and creamy. You've got that Kolsch style lager in the taste. You've got that spicy rye, and then you've got your chocolate coffee caramel with the, the, the roasted malts. It's a mind bender, it really is. It really is, but it's worth going for. It's worth going for. I'm gonna give this a nine out of 10. I think it's a nine out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer reviews, and cheers.